life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in a position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it. No one deserves to control it. No one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life. And you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. There are gonna be so many different things that you will embark on. There are gonna be so many different things that's gonna try to slow you down. There are gonna be so many different challenges that you must face. But instead of running away from the challenge, run towards the challenge. Be able to understand that life has meaning. It has reason. And all of these things that you may be thinking that is so hard on you. Just remember, sometimes you're gonna have to go through these changes, these circumstances that puts you in a position to make you feel that you're not worthy anymore. But make no mistake, you are worthy. You were created for something. You wasn't created for nothing. Life has a gift, a gift of giving, a gift of receiving. And whether if it's good or bad, you got to make sure you understand that these circumstances and these challenges has to happen in your life. You will come to a point that you may feel that you are in a hopeless situation. You may come to a point in your life where you are at the end of a rope and the only thing left to do is to climb up because you only can do so much for so long. But make sure you're doing much more instead of doing less. Stop stressing about the things that you cannot control and stop focusing on the things that you have control of. Take control of your life. 
take control of the opportunities. Believe in yourself and know that it is not over for you. There's so many people out there in this world right now will try to tell you not to be something that you feel in your heart that you want to be. So many people out there right now are miserable and they'll try their best to take you with them. Do not let misery control the life that you have. Do not let anyone tell you how to live it. Do not let anyone validate your purpose. Do not let anyone validate your destiny. Someone told you a long time ago that you wasn't worthy. Someone looked you in the eye and said you wasn't going to make it. I say to you right now that you will make it. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. And make no mistake, no one is going to do you better than you. Don't wait for something to happen. You make it happen. You make it happen for a reason. And take full responsibility and control of this thing we call life. Have you ever had a moment where it feels like everything's going against you? It feels like the weight of the world has fallen on your shoulders. You're thinking about quitting. You're thinking about giving up. It's hard. It's hard living your dream. It's hard changing your life. Once you've been knocked out by life, it's hard to pull yourself together and go back again. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to have a lot of failures. You're going to have a lot of struggles. You're going to feel dumb and ask questions and don't know what to do or where to go. You've got to know why you're out here because you're going to get your ass kicked by life. When the storms of life come and they're going to come, when life pounces on you and that's going to happen, when it catches you on the blind side and drops you to your knees and that's going to happen, when your plans don't work out, when you start running out of money, when you want to give up, your reasons will be your source of strength that will comfort you. Your reasons are the things that will help you get back up and try once again. That moment of extreme adversity is the best moment for audacity. It's the moment where you can flip everything and turn every trial you have right now into treasure. Sometimes you need to step back, meditate, and recharge. Sometimes you got to go away for a little while. Clear your head. View your situation from a different angle and try another approach. Don't ever claim that you're a failure. You're only ever a failure when you stop trying. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. As long as you're trying, you have another chance to win. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional creatures, but you've got to learn to discipline your emotions, discipline your thinking, staying focused on the goal, 
and not allowing your feelings and unproductive thoughts to get in the way of your progress. If you don't discipline and control your emotions and thoughts, they will use you. You must have faith. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in your abilities, your ideas, your vision, unquestionably. And when you get punched in the face by life and you feel broken inside, you got to be able to say to yourself, I've got to do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. You got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potential. And all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, when you feel that inner negative conversation saying, you can't do it, you got to shut that voice down. Tell it to shut up. Tell yourself, I can handle this. I can do this. I can get through this. I want you to stand up inside of yourself and demand that no matter how many failures I endure, I must keep going. No matter how many rejections I have to face, I must keep going. Regardless of the trials and tribulations that come against me, I must keep going going you get up every day you look in the mirror and you tell yourself I'm a bad mother and one way or another I'm gonna make it can happen today this challenge I'm facing this pain I'm going through this is a test this is the day I'm gonna find out if my goals really are my goal you're gonna get up you're gonna get dressed you're gonna get out and you're gonna do what you've been called to do you're gonna be what you've been called to be and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. I'm going to show them all they're wrong because I'm the champion. I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. There will never be another like me. Champions aren't born. They're made through grit, sweat, and unwavering self-belief. It's not about luck. It's about relentless dedication to your craft. When you step out that door, it's not just another day. It is an opportunity to unleash your greatness upon the world. You're not here to settle for mediocrity or to follow the crowd. No, you're here to lead, to set the pace, to show the world what's possible when you refuse to accept anything less than your best. It's about digging deep and understanding that greatness resides within you. You've got to summon it, sometimes even with tears in your eyes, but under no circumstance can you throw in the towel or surrender. The enemy isn't out there. It's in your head, scheming to mess with your mind, to drown you in worries and stress and break your spirit. If you conquer it in your head, you'll conquer it everywhere else. So cry it out if you must, rest it out if you must, take a break if you must, regroup, replan, but never let that fiery belief within you extinguish. It doesn't matter how long it takes or what you have to endure along the way. You're coming out of this mess and you're coming out stronger, wiser, and more determined than ever before. I've been through the depths of despair, hit rock bottom, and felt the sting of defeat. But guess what? I still believe I'm coming out on top. And you should too. Because that unwavering belief, that unbreakable spirit, is what sets champions apart. So keep pushing. Keep